The concept of being rewarded is woven into our human life. Every human being does something or puts in effort expecting a reward. Uh, when we go to school, we learn, we study in the classroom, and hope that we will be rewarded with success. When we get up in the morning and go to work and work throughout the week, we expect to be rewarded uh, with a salary to show that what we have done is worth something. And when a person works out, goes to the gym, uh, goes on a diet, they expect to be rewarded with some weight loss. And I'm sure some of you would want that reward very desperately. The concept is clear, but does it work in our spiritual life? Is there reward in our spiritual life? When we walk with God, does he reward us? And one of the people in the Bible whose walk with God was, was Abraham. Abraham left his father's house, started walking in the desert, because God says, go to a land that I will show you. And in the process, uh, he went through some difficulties. He had no child. Uh, he had no land. And for years, he was obeying God, but it seemed there was no reward coming out of that walk with God. But God spoke to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. And this is what God says. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. If you find yourself in Abraham's position where you think, I have given so much to serve God and I'm doing so much uh, for the Lord. Uh, God sent me to tell you that he is your shield, your defense and your exceedingly great reward. Not just your reward, but your massive reward, your abundant reward, the exceedingly great reward. The word that is translated as reward in this passage means your worth. In other words, your value or your wages or your compensation. God says your wages are not your boss. Your wage is not from your family. He is your exceedingly great reward. He is your rewarder. He is the one who compensates you. He is the one who lets you know that uh, you have value and you have worth. And he is your defense as well. And so for Abraham, who has worked for years and, and didn't seem to have reward or results, God says, fear not, relax. He is your reward. He is a rewarder. And so when we serve God, when we do the work of God, he rewards us first with himself. And then he rewards us with the things that he has promised us. And so he gave himself to Abraham first. Before Abraham even had a child, he had God as his reward. For everyone who has left so much to serve God, the Lord says to you, I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. I am Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.